Now let's have a look at another endpoint. And this endpoint is able to give us a custom status code. So if we jump back to HTTP bin again, you will see here an endpoint status codes. And we can just call this endpoint slash status and then give a code. So let, let's open a new tab here. httpbin.org slash status slash 200. And what this endpoint does is it doesn't send any body, but it sends a status code. And in this case, the status code is 200 because we specified here 200. Now, there's an important distinction to make between this information here, 200, and for example, this query parameter, John, name and the value John. And the distinction is quite important because this is not a query parameter. This is a path variable. This is a path parameter, if you want to call it that way. This is something that belongs to the path. So in some cases, you can even have an a value here that changes, but you can still have query parameters such as name equals John. And of course, in Postman, if you if the address is long enough, you can have different types of path variables. And because they are variables, this is something that the user inputs. And in our case, the input is 200. But you're probably wondering, isn't, this, isn't there a better way to do that instead of manually going inside the address and doing things? And of course, there is. And for that, I will replace 200 with column status and now if i click the params panel again you will see here that status appears here as well so we first have this path parameters path variables for which now we can give a value here and we don't have to fiddle inside the address itself the same principle as with query parameters applies here so once again this is a path variable and Everything that is after the question mark are query parameters. Everything that changes that is variable and is before the question mark are path variables. For path variables, you can use this syntax and then automatically Postman will not send status as a string, but will actually look inside the variables, inside the parameters that you have and replace that value with a specific one. So, for example, if I type now 404, you will see here that the status code has changed. Now, that the status code is 404. And in the address, I don't have to make any changes. I can just play around with it here. So, 404 usually means not found. It means that the endpoint was not accessible or things like that. And I wanted to show you the status codes because there are a lot of status codes that you can you can get. For example, typical ones are 401. That means you are trying to access a page where you need authorization and you're not authorized to do that. Or 403, where the server is not available. So there are a lot of use cases for that. But I just wanted to exemplify the difference between path variables and query parameters in this case and the way that Postman works with them. And I hope this example makes sense. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will highly appreciate if you can click right here on the subscribe button and on the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, there's so much more to learn about Postman and in this series, we basically just scratched the surface, but hopefully gave you enough information in order to use Postman in your own projects. So if you want to master Postman, API testing, workflows, continuous integration, and much more, make sure you check my Postman online course. I'll be posting a link with a huge discount in the section below. If you have any questions or need any help, I'm there for you. So get in touch with me by leaving a comment in the section below. See you next time, bye bye, and just click here to continue with the next video. And 
subscribe right here below. Come on, don't keep me waiting. Click, subscribe, and then continue with the next video.